Okay, so left hand one again. Setup's great. Use this line there. See your hands now are going outside. Okay, so if we did that line up so here, this was the first, this is like the start of the session. Okay, so yeah. we want that club to be working up that red line. He's off that red line straight away. Now it kind of works parallel up it, but yeah. you're very much above plane now. And your brain realizes this, hence the reason why you feel you've got to go, oh, hang on, I better just do this underneath. But then yeah. you're trying to do that per shot and think, well, hang on, how much am I going to drop it underneath? Now, you've got to drop an awful lot amount to get back there. In this case, you don't drop it enough. So as you come back into the goal point, that club shaft now for me is a bit sort of outside the golf ball. Probably going to pull it, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You either get like a weak cutty one with the longer clubs or the driver, or just hard pulls left, okay? Yeah. So that was kind of your swing at the start. Yes, the club is outside your hands, but your hands are outside the line. Does that make sense, yeah? yeah, yeah. So your hands have got to start working in this way a bit more, okay? So watch this movement. That's working a bit better now. So that club is starting to work up that red line. And if we look at the difference in that takeaway there, at sort of parallel compared to that. <laughs> Yeah, nice <laughs> it's a bit different, yeah. Yeah? yeah. So the arms are now staying connected here with the body. You just turn in your hip. This is the thing you got to make sure you turn your, your lower half. Yeah? yeah, people who try to position the club just sort of go, you just start moving it. If I just move this and let my arms will just move in space, I just turn this. Yeah, the arms will tend to work around that corner yourself. And the way I kind of describe as imagine if you were sort of set up there back here at a dress, like a bowl of water that was filled to the brim and you couldn't drop it. Yeah, you wouldn't go. Like that, would you? Because you stick yeah. your tip it. You wouldn't go quickly, yeah? You'd be sort of going <laughs> like that. Yeah. So where's your hands working? The hands are working in and around, and the club now is staying, if it was a club, out in front of you, yeah? yeah? So the movement you would make if you were trying to move something around your body, which, which we almost do without thinking about, is the move we're trying to do with a golf club in our hand, as opposed to what people often know, the club whips too far behind you here now. Yeah. I know I can fix that. I'll put it out here somewhere. Oh, dear, yeah. And then you're trying to find that line somewhere in the middle that you will get every now and then. And when you get it, it's level par for the front line. And you're like, this is pretty good, isn't it? Yeah? Is, yeah. When you don't get it, it then becomes a bit pulley hooky or yeah. blocky cutty. And then you're trying to find where then it goes, it goes triple birdie, double yeah. Yeah, birdie on 13 or whatever. And then other things. So. As well, yeah, exactly. Well, the thing, if your arms are out there and just sort of try and re <laughs> redirect yeah. back into impact, you're not going to compress that goal ball very well. Yeah. Because if you come down a little bit steep on it, okay, you have to almost back things up and then sort of just like you say, slap across it. Mm -hmm. If you do it too much and the club gets too far behind you, now you're kind of almost like hitting it yeah. <laughs> back this way. So yeah, it's going to really, really sort of sacrifice a lot of quality of contact. Yes, the hand I'd rather, if you're going to go anywhere, I'd rather you be there than having the club behind you, yes. especially as a tall person, yeah? Because yeah. once that club gets behind us, it's just like, ugh, yeah. There you go. Oh, you've got no chance, okay? So, but the feeling is the hands are working in and that right wrist there. So this joint here now, when you're taking the club back, is basically doing that. So as you go back, you do a small one, there you go, there. So if I push that down, it sort of keeps the leg there, you go, good. So that's kind of your kind of trigger point, checkpoint of what that wrist is doing. Yeah. But this must turn, is that again? As you go back, there you go, good. So you're doing that, and almost like your hands are when you go back, almost like brushing your leg, yeah? Look at that video with Tiger, he's, he's a little bit closer to the ball yeah. than you. But as he goes back, his hands are working straight in there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now he doesn't look like he's trapped or he's stuck or whatever. He's got plenty of room, yeah? Because the hands are just working around here. As the body rotates, they're not moving out independently or not folding and rolling the wrist, yeah? So effectively, you're doing less, aren't you, yeah? Less yeah, yeah, to get more, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. tell a couple more, anybody, and we'll yeah. see how that goes from there.